How did you decide that you want to do ACC? So how many exams you had? Yes. What is one advice that you would give to the students who are pursuing ACC? So my advice would be um, first focus on the concept that are taught in the class because having a conceptual clarity will help you clear the exam. The US giants are now looking forward for ACCA as a qualification to refer to. In fact, I can tell you oh, I yes. Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Pankaj Dhingra and as you all know me by now, I am a proud Fintrammer. Welcome. Welcome friends, welcome to the another Fintram success story. Yes, my friend, these success stories are the are the pillars that we have been able to demonstrate around the world which Fintram is really leading to. बहुत सारी सक्सेस स्टोरीज हम लेके आते हैं जहां हम शेयर करते हैं किस तरह से ये प्राउड फिंट्रामर्स आगे बढ़ रहे हैं और आगे बढ़ते चल रहे हैं एंड दैट इज व्हाट वी वांटेड टू ब्रिंग टू यू टुडे अगेन एक ऐसा पिलर एक ऐसा ऐसा स्टूडेंट हमारा जिसने इंडिया में पढ़ाई करी बहुत सारी पढ़ाई करी फटाफट से एसी से बना ऑफकोर्स ही वॉज इन मिडल ईस्ट फॉर फॉर लॉन्ग लॉन्ग टाइम एंड नाउ ही इज इन कैनेडा so we just wanted to share his story with you in terms of telling you that how students have been doing a lot in in i would say around the globe in terms of uh, they do they they doing a real value at to various corporates around the world after they clearing their acc aaj main baat kar raha hu meer mubasir ki he has been has been a i would say uh, a very strong uh, 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 foundational student for us जिसके बेसिक्स बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग थे ही हैज क्लियर वेरियस एग्जाम्स विद अस एंड ऑफ कोर्स नाउ ही इज एन एसीसीए मेंबर एंड इज इन एंड इज इन इन कनाडा सो व्हेन आई रिक्वेस्टेड हिम दैट यू नो व्हाई डोंट यू कम एंड शेयर योर स्टोरी ही वाज रियली हैप्पी बट आई आई डोंट वांट टू स्टील द थंडर आई रियली वांट टू गो 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 बैक टू हिम सो दैट ही कैन शेयर हिज हिज थॉट्स एंड थिंग्स दैट ही डिड बट बिफोर आई रियली गो इन देयर ऐसी सक्सेस स्टोरीज अगर और चाहिए तो क्या करना है हमें फटाफट से फिनट्रैम ग्लोबल के चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर लेना है और क्या करना है और अगर हमें स्टोरी अच्छी लग रही है और ऐसी और स्टोरी चाहिए तो थोड़ी सी मोटिवेशन तो मेरे लिए बनती है तो हमें लाइक like देनी तो पक्का से है ही एंड ऑफ कोर्स अगर आपको लगे कि समबडी एल्स आल्सो नीड टू नो स्टोरीज लाइक दिस तो उसके साथ शेयर करना भी पक्का से बनता है तो चले बात करें मुबसिर से यस सर और राइट हाई मुबसिर वेलकम हेलो सर गुड इवनिंग हाउ यू डूइंग आई एम गुड थैंक यू इट इज इट इज ए प्लेजर टू सी यू अगेन and uh, to have you here uh, it really gives uh, all of us a, a sense of a proud feeling when we see our folks around the world doing what they are really aspiring for so and and you're one of them so i really wanted you to be here to talk to the student fraternity at large thank you very much uh, mubasir for taking your time thank you very much you're welcome sir all right so mubasir i'll probably start from the from the basic uh which is that why don't you introduce yourself first and then i'll pick it up from there yes hi uh, i'm mubashir and i'm proud qualified acca and a member in good standing um i used to work in deloitte then i worked in saudi arabia in in contracting company then i recently moved to canada after achieving my acca membership which is a big one right and this actually yes somewhat somewhere uh, is the testimony to the fact that uh, after doing acca your presence can be anywhere in the world because this is like a global definitely program. yes and you won't believe uh, last month uh, we had an acca member recognition ceremony in toronto and i was a part of it and it was so good and you get to meet all the cfos ceos of bigger companies who are members of acca and a good thing is acca is recognized really well in canada yes that's the best part of it yes and uh, for you to work in canada acca is 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 a i would say is a straight away check in or tick in the box right you don't have to do anything else yes else. definitely and um, obviously you get a better pay because you have your qualified accountant <laughs> <laughs> very true so baby we'll go in a flashback from the scene we'll start from um, how did you decide that you want to do acca okay this 
it's something different. But yeah, so I was supposed to get married in Canada. So, and yeah, so I had a plan to move to Canada eventually. So I was looking into it and uh, I found Fintram's global website. So that's where it intrigued me about ACCA. I heard about ACCA, but I, ne I it, you know, it never got my interest. But I got Fintram's global website and, you know, it got me more intrigued about ACCA. Then I contacted you guys and you guys gave me a whole set of things to do. You know, first email ACCA with all your credentials and I might get some exemptions as well. I didn't know I'd, I'd get some exemptions, but I did. And so my whole guidance is from Fintram, join ACCA. And yeah, and I Googled it too. So it was recognized in Canada and I can work in audit because I have a audit background. So that's why I got into we, ACCA. We are, the, we are the culprits, right? We are the culprits of <laughs> taking you to ACCA. Okay. Yeah. So when you when you entered ACCA, you, you mentioned that you got few exemptions. So how many exams mm, you have? Yes. I had to write seven exams. Okay. Okay. Uh, so my thing was to take all the classes from Fintram because I had no idea and I trusted you guys. And yeah, that trust paid off really well, by the way. So yeah, yeah first I took <laughs> FR, PM and FM from Fintram Global and SVL2. And because I have a background from CA, I was doing Indian CA. Uh, I was about to write my CA finals, but yeah, you know, because I shifted to ACCA, I think I have a, I had an edge, but I had no idea about all these subjects because I never studied. So I started studying all the four subjects and I was comfortable with three, which is FR, PM and FM. And I wrote all the three all together, like right after a day another, in December, 2022. And, and with done. God's grace and all done. Yep, the past, all done. <laughs> And the next exam I wrote was in March 2023. That was SBL. Okay. And the weird fact about this is I didn't open the SBL book for three months. For three months, I didn't open. I just sat down and wrote the exam. The last reading I did was with you, basically, your recorded lectures three months ago. I just sat down and wrote the exam with a blank mind. And I passed with 60%. <laughs> you know, I I take that as a big compliment, right? And and I'm sure you know, by now you would you would reckon the fact that I keep saying in my class that SBL exam is the most common sensical exam in the world. Sir, it is if you teach it. I got I'd say because I watched a few lectures. I I know of a few friends who've been writing SBL four times, five times, six times, even seven times. Then I referred them to you, and they cleared the exam. <laughs> no, no, thank you for that. Not that, not that I only, uh, you know, can teach, you know, of course, you know, there are many good faculties around. But yes, for the what I try to bring on to the table is my experiences in terms of what I have seen while working for so many years in various corporates. I try to bring the, the real life perspective or the examples, which doesn't really you know, makes the makes a lecture boring, right? You would, yes. you would, uh, you would heard the, you know, I'm, I'm sure, you know, by now you would recall that you would hear out the examples of Yahoo.com's, Microsoft's, definitely uh, G's of the world in my, in my sessions. More to the fact that I really have gone through that life, so I can share that with my real life experiences. And that actually helped me a lot during the exam, because during the exam, I could recall all the examples. That's a big one. Tell me, yes. Mumasin, and again, I'm trying to more think it from the student's perspective, which is the most toughest exam you felt in in, in all your all throughout your journey? Okay, all my journey, I the most toughest exam for me was, honestly, it was AFM, because the reason I can think is because I wanted to take class from Fintram, but the AFM classes weren't available, so I had to go to some other faculty. It was difficult. The reason it was difficult is sir, because the material provided, they didn't provide any material. They just provided me with notes. And I had to do a lot of more work in studying AFM because it, I took from other faculty. I didn't have any note. I didn't have a book to study from. They, I just had notes. And that was really difficult for me to cope up. Other than that, I didn't find anything as difficult because 
conceptually, I was strong. Let's say SBR. In June of 2023, I wrote SBR, APM, and AFM all together. And I didn't have time to study because right before that, I was working for the year and closing the books and all those things. I just had 30, 35 days to study all three subjects. And I studied all three of them. AFM gave me the most of his time. But because I took FR from you guys and A and PM from you guys, I had my basic certain. And while studying SBR and APM, it was a piece of cake because the basics are certain. The concepts are clear in my mind. This just gave me a, a push, you know, the push that is required for the professional level exams. Yes. And, and uh, you know, uh, good news is that now FinTram offers AFM too. That point in time, we were, wow. we were contemplating on AFM. Now we, we are offering that. But one thing that mm -hmm. you rightly mentioned is that many of us believe that these professional exams are going to be easy. But guys, this is something to be to be really be aware of that I would say there are various basics, concepts that are being built at this skill level. And many of Definitely. you come with the with the exemptions. You do not have those, I would say, strong found, foundational areas in you at that point in time. And that's where, you know, Fintram actually comes to your rescue, wherein we try to give you, and in all our professional classes also, we try to cover various concept questions, concepts, to make sure that even if you have got those exemptions, at least you are perfected, if not anything uh, more, from the standpoint of at least be able to contemplate the questions in the right way. Which is... Yes, and another thing that I noticed, another thing that I noticed, sir, in the professional level exams, you guys were even first you guys went to the basics then you came to the professional level again yes and that helped me recall everything like this yes you know so i can, I can was... correlate you you are you're effectively so you have taught you have got you have you have, um, you have started with vishnu vijay sir you have started with disha ma'am you yes. started with me and you know the, yes. the 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 philosophy that fintram follows is the same that we will not move ahead unless and until we have revised the prior session or, or definitely or, yes and and so on. Yes. Yeah, I can. So understand. that's where F A F M became difficult for me because uh, the lecture I took, I won't mention them obviously, but the lecturer he was like, I assume you guys are done with the skill level, and I assume you know everything at the skill level, so I'll just be teaching you the professional level. But the fact is, professional level is related to skill level. Yes, and most of the most of the uh, topics are the same, but in advanced level, right? So I had to go back to my skill level book provided by Disha Ma'am and go through it again, then come to AFM. So that was the difficult part for me. But and I can by God's, <laughs> yeah, by God's grace, I passed all three of them back in July, and attained my membership in October. So yeah. And I just received my membership certificate. If you want, I can just show it to you. Like, <laughs> no, it's okay. fine. Absolutely go. fine. <laughs> and I'm glad <laughs> that, that you know, uh, we have been able to uh, add the real colors to the folks who really want to be working around the globe as in, as in a qualified ACCA. And that is one of the reasons, Mubasir, I really wanted to bring this story to the people that many of them feel that uh, ACCA is second to CA. Or CA is better. ACCA would not give so, you. Uh, you know they have all those myths, right, in their mind. Oh yes, definitely. Honestly, if I am to be honest, in Canada, or let's say back in Saudi Arabia too, if you're Indian CA, you're not that valued as ACCA. Yes. But in India, obviously, the Indian CA is Indian CA. So in India, they'll value you more because it's India. But you go to the global markets, ACC is recognized in, I think, more than 170, 160 countries. Yes. Indian CA is not. So that's the difference. That is the reason I opted to ACCA. To ensure. And, and good point that you, you know, that, that you really brought onto the table. Um, that globally, of course, ACCA carries a very different uh, uh, brand value. And it is more yes. to do with the fact that it. this is actually a beautiful course. You have done it. I teach it. Yes. I know it's a beautiful content, you know, that we teach. Not that CA is not that great. The only challenge is that uh, with CA, many of the students struggle because you have, you get into a group system, 
clear all the exams yes get yes. on the total not that they're they're bad but acca says give one exam at a time clear and then move on to the next right. level so on so forth that's what makes it difficult yes. it's not that acca yes. is, it's not that acca is easy. yes acca is not easy the only thing is you can write one exam at a time which which gives you the flexibility and the ease right by which yes. you're able to clear it in one go and become a qualified accountant and work anywhere around the world and i think i can yes. tell you something the dynamics in india is also you know is also changing now many of these oh. big fours or european giants or us giants are now looking forward for acca as a qualification to refer to in fact i can tell you oh, I, yes. why we 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 work with the uh, kpmg pwc in terms of you know uh, um, you know having a touch with them at various uh, areas most of these guys have their own acca uh, hirings now being done separately yes if i may add i got two offers from ey in Hyder back in hyderabad they found me on linkedin and they were like oh hi over sure we have an opening are you willing to join us and i'm like i'm so sorry i moved to canada <laughs> 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 and I'm I'm sure you know you would you would do wonders in Canada down the line, which is something to be. Hopefully. And and we may disturb you again, you know. Once you once you in three years of time when you are doing so many good things in Canada, we might want you to talk on you know how how did you flourish in Canada? What did you do the way you do? We might definitely, sir. Definitely. What because is one... you guys? Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. I'm oh, sorry because you guys helped me clear all the exams, so I owe that to you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tell me, uh, and again, I'm just thinking aloud, uh, more from the student standpoint, what is one advice that you would give to the students who are pursuing ACCA, uh, which would help them clear their exam? So my advice would be, um, first, focus on the concept that are taught in the class, because having a conceptual clarity will help help you clear the exam. That is the basic. Then you move on to practicing the questions. Without any conceptual clarity and you're just solving the questions and looking at the answers and you know, making yourself understand that doesn't make any sense. And that is what most of the students do because of that is what I've seen my friends do. They have little knowledge about the concept. They just move on to solving the questions and they can't solve. And that demotivates you. So my another thing I would say is watch all the classes with 100% attention and no phone around because phone is a big distraction. Just keep the phone away on silent. Watch all the classes because watching the classes will get your concepts clear because that that helped me a lot because the way you guys, the guys taught me, my concepts are still intact in my mind. And the I way I just said, as well, I, I wrote the exam after three months. I should have concepts intact in my mind, right? Yeah, and I think one very important thing that you mentioned is that, of course, having strong foundation would help. But one thing that students you should never forget is that you have to practice questions by your practice. own time, as many Definitely. questions as possible. That yes. is the only way. And I'm sure you know, Mubasir, you would uh, reckon that fact. I I'm saying this like a broken record, even in all my sessions. You have to practice questions by your own hand. There is no alternative to it. There is no. Yes. And another thing, sir, about the questions, I never took um, the Kaplan or BPP books. I didn't need them. The only books I used were the books provided by you guys. The only questions I practiced were the questions provided by you guys. That is all I did. And some of my uh, people I knew, they had Kaplan books, Kaplan and BPB, both the books, these thick books, just to practice. I was like, man, I don't have time for that. I'm just going to do this because all the questions were based on the concepts that you need to have in your mind that you guys have. And that's, that's yeah. where, you know, we we actually work a lot, Mubasir, uh, in terms of creating this content. So what we've done is, and, and I need not have to tell you, but students for you, what Pintram does is that we have created the best of the best content possible in the shortest format. So we will not give you the whole Gita for it, but we'll give you the the crust 
the, the, the need, the things that you really need out of that Gita or Bible for that matter. Just to make sure that, you know, you don't spend too much time in terms of understanding that those concepts. And then we, we what we give you is the revision boot camp. When we practice the concept questions, the comprehensive questions, the past exam questions, telling you what you really need. So that eliminates the need for buying any exam kit or any study text. You would get what you really need. And effectively, what we provide in the revision boot campus, we're giving you a video exam kit, which is a very different thing, right? You don't have to buy because yes. LT will come on board and they will solve. They'll solve it for you. And yeah. then you have to practice by your own hand. Practic practicing is very important. Honestly, um, I did all the question book, the question bank that we had at least three times before writing the exam, at least three times. Uh, although for the last three exams, I just studied for 30, 35 days. But those 30, 35 days were like five, six months for me because I was studying straight 14, 16, 18 hours at a time because I had no other option because I had to write the exams. Really? But I did at least three times. That is very important. Very true. And I can I can share one good news with you. We just had a, a FinTram ceremony, uh, the all our pass out ceremony, uh, wow. in the, uh, last month. Unfortunately, you were not in India, so we could not have called you there. But had you been there, we would have you know invited you as a special guest. Uh, in that uh, session, <laughs> there were many parents, many uh, I would say uh, participants, the future uh, I would say students who were really thinking about doing ACCA and they wanted to know more and more about this from the existing students. So you would have been a, a great, I would say, uh, mentor there for them. And whenever, you know, if you're, if you're here anytime, we would... We Definitely. Should... Whenever I visit India next time, I'm coming to Delhi to meet you, sir. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> and you owe me a coffee any which ways, right? Many coffees. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whenever I'm in Toronto, of course, there is no plan as of now. I I, um, I traveled Toronto a couple of years back. No plans as of now. But whenever I'm in Toronto, I would be certainly banging your door for, for my cup of coffee for sure. I, I found good coffee places for you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> give, give our students one advice on a different side of it, which they should not do in ACCA. You should not, you know, okay, let me get back to it first. So normally, the way you're taught to write exams in India is different. You write a point, then you jumble up the words and repeat the same point again. That is not required at all. Be concise and be precise. That is what important is. Words doesn't matter. The content matters. And, okay, that helped me because... Of the classes, obviously. Because in my mind, back coming from India, I was like, okay, I can write a point and rephrase it in another way. But no, that won't give me any marks. Which is very true. And you know, you pick up any examiner report, any examiner report for that matter, it says the same that you don't have to pad out your answer with unnecessary information. Talk what is relevant, yes. even if it is small. You don't have to like write a plethora of paragraphs or lines onto it. Just give examiner what he exactly needs. Even if it is two line, three line thing, it is absolutely fine. He would understand that you know it. You don't have to Definitely. like unnecessarily um, uh, start typing the same line three times, four times in a different way. It doesn't help. Yes. And another thing I'd like to say is, and I'd like to say it again basically is concepts first. Practice second. Yes. Without any conceptual clarity, practice makes no sense. Absolutely. And I'm with you on it. I think unless and until you have strong concepts, you would not be able to capitalize on it. If you want to Definitely. capitalize right, uh, your understanding right way, you have to strengthen your basics first. And that is the yes. reason you would have seen. Even in our SBR session, when I do SBR, what I try doing yes. is that I revise the entire FR in a way. In yes. A way, right? So that any basics, if it is lost in someone for whatsoever reason, it is taken care. Even in revision bootcamp, when we do, we practice the concept questions, which are which is nothing but yes. the FR questions, right? As in most mm -hmm. of that is 
is a understanding from afar which we want to inculcate in in the students to make sure that they're not missing on to it which is really important. yes so the journey was really good <laughs> when i think back to it <laughs> because you know the past percentage is not that great too yes. for the acca but yeah it was really good you know god and has been kind. Thing, god has been kind it's like another... always we have always surpassed the global percentage in acca which is which is which is oh. great for us that's what i say sir even in the revision boot camp before practicing the questions we go through all the subject like in 50 pages just 50 pages you know revising the concepts to you again then moving to the conceptual questions so basically you guys are building in the concepts in our dna that's so, that's the, that's the aim <laughs> Yes. <laughs> remember i i i have i would have said a couple of times that i want to have this in your blood you remember yes i do remember <laughs> and that is what i was referring to in the dna <laughs> good good uh, i would you know i think uh, very well covered mubasir i you know honestly i just wanted you to get introduced to the fraternity at large um so there you know people who will see this this video they might connect with you on linkedin they might Definitely. want to interact with you. They might want to gain more knowledge from you. My humble request would be that be open, right? Last thing we can yes. do as a mentor or as in qualified folks around the corner is to educate people in terms of taking their right decisions in the right way. So Definitely. keep doing that. I think that's important. And of course, we will anyway be bothering you, uh, you know, for anything that comes up our way. And not to forget, Please. my coffee is, is certainly outstanding. <laughs> yes it is <laughs> you know, I feel so proud of it at times that I have now coffee outstanding in almost every country in the world it is wow. all because of ACC and CPA it is all because of this yeah. that I have my wow. my coffees outstanding everywhere in the world not like all the countries but most of the countries are very well covered in terms of my coffee being outstanding God knows when I will when I will have all of that but you know at least I have it on my balance sheet <laughs> <laughs> that are sure. <laughs> Good, Mubasir. Thank you very much for your time. I think it was a pleasure talking to you, as always. It was really good and, talking to you, sir. Yeah, and I really look forward to seeing you here in Delhi. And if I'm there in Definitely. Toronto, we'd certainly, certainly touch base. Definitely, sir. Thank you so much for the time, sir. It was really good talking to you. Thank you very much, and keep it going, friend. Keep thank it going. Thank you, sir. Thank you. One thank thing, you, sir. one thing, Mubasir. I, yes, I, I forgot. If I have to ask you one word about FinTram, then what would that be? It would be amazing. In, in, in one word. Amazing. Thank you. Amazing would be the word I use. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Mubasir. Thank you very much for your Thank time. Sir. Really look forward. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye, sir. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.